Okay, here's another widespread panic lesson. Uh, this is a song called Going Out West, uh, written by Tom Waits. Uh, Panic's been covering it for many years, and it's a great song. Uh, the song basically starts with the bass line. It's good to know the bass lines on guitar, because when you're playing it live, you can, you can rip them in. So basically, it's in C. So basically, we're going to use our ring finger, and we're going to take it to the third fret of the A string. And then we're going to go with our pointer finger to the first fret of the D string. So twice. Notice the my hand, uh, my picking hand. It's down up. Basically, watch. And hit it again. So it's twice on the first one. Now I've got another thing I like to do when we're playing it live, which is pretty cool. I like to do this. I don't know if anybody else does that. Man, it works great and you get a little distortion going on it. That's just basically a C chord, bar chord, just bar using these two fingers. So it's your third fret, A string, pointer finger, and then it's your ring finger on the fifth fret on the D string. Then I use this little pinky, you gotta get that pinky going. And I leave these all stationary, and I hammer that pinky down on the sixth fret on the A string. That's A string, sixth fret. slow. Okay. And then the cool part. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. like this. Alright. Okay, let me show you those licks. The easiest one and, um, is this one. Third fret E string. Second fret E string. Fourth fret B string. Hammer down to the first fret B string from the open E. So it's and then during the verse, it just does this. It goes like those two notes in between each verse through the song and that's the third fret E string second fret E string then back to that little leg and then another really cool thing it does it comes in the song comes in and it does the for a little while then you do this little lick a couple times after I do that about two times I go That's a, a bar chord. We're going to start with the uh, it's a B flat to C. Okay? So basically, pointer finger, A string, first fret. Ring finger, uh, D string, third fret. Pinky finger, uh, G string, third fret. That's how I do it. 
And then what I'm doing on the it's look look at this. These are the only three notes I'm hitting. And the way I'm doing it is is I'm I'm kind of approaching it, coming up top, and and I'm I'm hitting this note, but I'm muting these other ones. See. So I'm just focusing on this three. That's how I get that. And when, I, when I'm doing that, I'm basically muting all the strings. And the way I do it, I kind of keep my chord for, per, uh, formation, but I'm not pressing it down. So what I do is I just keep my for, chord there, I mute all the strings, and I mute this string here with my birdie finger. Practice that. See? So I'm basically, these are my three notes. See, so you don't, if you hit them all down, see that? That's not it. So that's why you have to mute the, that's why these two strings here, the E string and the B string aren't pressed down. They're, they're muted. Okay. There's one other part and it goes like karate voodoo too. So what that is, that's just an F chord. Friends is going out west and it'll work. Thank you.